Hey there, Sam. Now that we have installed Laravel Sanctum and all of our API routes are now protected, we now encountered a new issue. So if we try to run our tests again, a lot of them are returning us an error. The reason is because when we write our API test, we did not log in as a user to call the API endpoints. Now that we have applied the Sanctum of middleware to all of our API routes, it is normal for our test to fail. So to fix this error, we should refactor our test code to log in as a user before calling these API endpoints. Let's do that. Let's first refactor our user API test. Now to log in as a user in our test, Laravel offers us a very simple to use method called acting as, which will receive a user model record as its argument. And that user can be any valid user in our app. I'll go ahead and create a dummy user using the factory method and pass the dummy user into the acting as method. And that should do the trick. Let's try our code. We'll go back to our terminal. And you notice that currently we have 15 failures. Let's run our test again. And boom, we've got 14 failures now. And these two lines of code is exactly what we need to apply to all of our API tests. And now the question is, should we really copy and paste this to all of the test functions? The answer is a big no-no, because we'll need to repeat ourselves for an awful lot of time. There is a better way to do this, and it is through the setup and tear down testing hooks. So Laravel provides us two special testing methods called setup and tear down. Setup is a special function that will run just before each of the test function is executed. And tear down on the other hand will run after each of the test function is executed. So in our case here, we want to log the user in before each of the test function is executed. So let's go ahead and create the setup function. And we do need to specify the return type, otherwise our IDE will complain. Inside the function body, I'll simply move our login logic from the test index method to here. And now this setup method should log a user in before we run all the test functions inside this user API test class. Let's go to our terminal and we'll run our test again. And we're down to 10 failures. Beautiful. Now the next thing that we want to do is to copy and paste this code to the other test classes as well. We'll paste it in in our post API test and also comment API test. Let's go back to our terminal, run our test again, and we're down to one error. Seems like this error is not about authentication, but we have an invalid request body when we're creating a new post. Let's quickly fix that. Our post body should be an array, not a string. So we'll go to our post controller and change the data type from string to array. We also need to include an array of user IDs. So I'll go back to our test method and quickly create a dummy user. And I'll pass the user ID as part of the request body. Since body is a required field, we will also go to our post factory and put in some random value inside the body field. Let's go back to our terminal and run our test again. And it's now all green. Great. Now before we end the lesson, I want to show you how teardown looks like. As I mentioned just now, teardown will run after a test is executed. It is useful when we want to reset any side effects that we might have when we are running our test. For example, clearing out database records or deleting files that we might have created in the test. And just for demonstration, I'll dump a random string in our teardown method here. Let's go back to our terminal and run our test. And we see five hey yes inside our terminal because we have five test functions in our user API test class and Laravel runs teardowns for five times. Now before we end the lesson, there's one more thing about the acting as method. It can actually take in a second argument where we can specify which login guard that we want to use. By default, it is using the web guard, but we can change it to API guard or other guards that you define inside the auth config file. And just for recap, guards are ways that we can log our user into our app. You can define as many guards as you like inside the off config file. But for most scenarios, the default works great as it is already. So you don't need to touch them at all. And that is pretty much it. Key takeaway for this lesson, Laravel provides us a convenient acting as method to log in as any given user. The setup method is a handy special function that runs before every test function. It's good for us to put in logic where we want to apply for every test function inside a test case. Teardown is the opposite of setup, and it runs after every test function. Acting as accepts a second argument where we can specify which off guard that we want to use. We can add more off guard in the off configuration file if we wish to. 
that's it for this lesson and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.